Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today we start in chapter 5, Ethical Leadership and Corporate Governance. We already posted everything about it. I just uh, want to go over real quick uh, for a few points, I guess. Uh, let's start with the story on not rage on the tarmac at JFK. JFK, it's John F. Kennedy Airport, which is in New York. A mess Chu daughter of Korean airline chairman scolded a flight attendant who gave her an unopened bag of nuts while on the tarmac at JFK airport. Ms. Cho stated nuts should have been served on a plate because this is the proper procedure. And he had اللي هي زعقت او هانت احد الفلايت اتندنس اللي هو الموظفة الطيران عشان جابت لها بكيت اللي هو المكسرات في بكيت مسكر مش في صحن قالت لازم تجيبي ايش في طبق ثم رجعت الطائرة من الجيت من عند البوابة حتى تنزل المضيفة او المضيف اللي ازعلها هذا ادى الى تأجيل طبعا Return to the gate caused a 20 minute flight delay. أدى إلى تأجيل الرحلة ب 20 دقيقة. Of course, the chairman of Korean airline stripped his daughter of all her titles and duties at KA for her foolish behavior. طبعا والدها اللي هو المدير التنفيذي أزال عنها كل المميزات وكل الألقاب أو المناصب اللي كانت تحملها بنته بسبب اللي هو تصرفها الغبي كما uh, Korean airline faced sanctions in attempt to cover up Ms. Cho's not rage. Um, Ms. Cho indicted on charges and K executive. Korean airline executive EO was charged for pressuring employees to lie about the incident. طبعا هي أدينت و charged اللي هي بنته for وهو حتى أبوه أدين لأنه كان بيضغط على على الموظفين عشان يكذبوا بشأن هذا الحدث حتى يكذبون بهذا. Miss Cho sentenced to year in prison for not read. وحكم عليها بالسجن لمدة سنة بسبب هذا الحدث. من هنا بدأت أن نحكي عن الأثكى الليدرشيب اللي هي القيادة الأخلاقية uh, We're gonna go, like I said, we're gonna, we're going to go through it The demonstration of normatively appropriate conduct through personal actions and interpersonal relationship The promotion of such conduct to followers through two-way communication المباشر بين شهر two ways Reinformance Reinforce, reinforcement وهي عادة التأكيد والدسيجين ميكين واتخاذات اتخاذ القرارات هنا we go on into let the difference between transformational leadership and transactional leadership اللي هي قيادة تحويلية تحويلية developing a long term vision for the company that's one of the characteristic of the transformational leadership uh, key, key traits, inspirational motivation, idealized influence, individu individu individualized consideration and intellectual stimulation, authentic transformation leadership may be ethical. طبعا transformation leader should be ethical or اخلاقية. We are still talking about the, the principle of ethical power goes under purpose, perspective, patience and persistence. Purpose will have perspective will hear which والنظر أو العمق patience الصبر المثابرة persistent هو المثابرة أو الإصرار uh, هنا we're still talking about the, the difference between the transactional and the leadership and the transformation leadership transactional also focuses on operational and routine activities within the firm it is argued that this is more a managerial trait in which control is used to protect the status quo for of the firm and the use of contingent rewards and management by exceptions to manage employees. Same thing. We st now, there's, I did the comparison for you for transformational and transactional. 
Transformational is organic and interdependent view of external events. Transaction is independent views of external events. A transformation is more altruistic motives are supported by the deontological, philosophical, and the other one transaction is it, it, it follows the theological framework. And the transformational focuses on social obligations. And the transaction focuses on individual obligations, which we should be, we should know what is the difference. Tamam. Okay. We're talking about the transformation from a moral person to ethical leaders. Okay, but how will the shakhs, the khlamina, the shakhs, the adi, the khlaqi, to a laqaid, the khlaqi, the yaqood, or the traits, behaviors, decision making uh, leads to the moral manager. Also, we have a comparison here between an unethical leader and an ethical leader. Moral person and moral managers. The unethical, of course, has weak moral person and weak moral manager. Drive to reward their own self-interest. Uh, examples include Jeff Skilling, Bernie Amber, we don't need to talk about this. Ethical leader, the ultimate ethical goal of any manager. Ability to use grounded ethical characteristics and transfer them to others within the organization through the characteristics of a moral manager. We also talk about a hypocritical leader and inconsistent leader. Also, it's the same thing. مثابر أو غير ما اللي بكملش يعني بخلصش what he started. The inconsistent leader is strong ethical traits, behaviors and decision making of a moral person, but is not able to transfer those values to other employees. Inconsistent because of the contradictory strength of the individual individual moral values and weak characteristic of a moral manager. يعني هو يحب الأخلاق والخلوق ولكنه لا يستطيع نقل هذه الأخلاق للموظفين. ولا يستطيع ان يفضل عليه لانه ايش؟ شخصيته ضعيفه ويك كاركترستيك. Hypocritical somebody who says one thing but ethical person does the other يعني منافق ومن يقول شيء ويفعل الاخر. Corporate governance ما يسمى الحكومه حوكمه حكومه اللي هي الكوربوريشنز the system that are used by firms to control and direct their operations and the operations of their representative the employees provides a method in which the ethical vision can be measured and validated. Uh, the board of di directors represent the interests of the stake the stockholders, maybe inside the board member or outside board members. Inside board members have direct financial ties to the firm, and the outside they have no direct financial ties to the form, the firm. We, we got core ethical values that guide the behavior of board members. This ethical values also that guides honesty, integrity, loyalty, responsibility, fairness, and citizenship. Honesty, amana, nazaha, wala, masuliyya, adala, and citizenship. There is five. Different types of boards of directors is passive board, certifying board, engaged board, intervening board, and operating operating board. Also, the we want to know the duties of the outside board members. It's an annual evaluation of CEO by outside members only. Outside members meet at least once a year without the CEO present, and they set the qualifications for membership of board member and communicate to shareholders. And they are responsible for recruitment and selection of the new board members. Also, we have the duties of the shareholders, active owners of the firm. Avoid involvement in day-to-day -day operation. Shareholders. They evaluate the whole board, the whole majlis. And they, the PM form, when firm 
ايفالويت بورد ممبر ولا يجب يصل عندهم تقرير هو لما عندما يتم تقييم اعضاء المجلس كومن جول از تو مينتين اون جوين كوربريت ستاتس اوف كورس ذيس بينيفيتس فور ا سترونج بورد اوف دايركتورز ا سترونج بورد هاز ا بوزيتيف امباكت اون ذا برفورمانس اوف ذا فيرم جود كوربريت جوفرننس سبورت ذا فاينانشال ريكويرمنتس استابليش باي ذا شير هولدرز The CEO compensation and ethical reputation, no direct relationship. There is no direct relationship between the CEO compensation and the financial performance of the firm. It should not be. In many cases, the reverse is true with poor performance firms have having highly paid CEO. This is of the firm In many cases, أداء فاشل والشركة تخسر ولكن بيكون البنفت والمكافآت المدير التنفيذي في الملايين. Corporate governance and stakeholders a varying set of requirements which may be in conflict. لحكينا ال employees, suppliers and community shareholders want the maximum return on their investment. Governments require legal and financial compliance. And NGOs require respect for global human and raw work and worker rights. There's a question for thoughts that you, we already covered that, so uh, that's the end of that. And uh, hopefully, good luck with the with the exams. And we, I did a uh, summary of the rest of the chapter of whatever is important. We chose for chapter seven, nine, and eleven. I have included that with your at the e-learning portal. Uh, thank you very much and have a nice day.